Hi, and welcome back to my little film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. Oh, I've got a gory one for you today, a science fiction. Well, you know it's gory because of who it's by. We'll talk about that in a second. Yes, a real gory film. Well, I was I was quite looking forward to this. I don't mind some of the films this guy throws out there. Uh, the strange, weird, gruesome, horrible, uh, but sometimes interesting. Yeah, and so I can certainly we're going to mention one uh, later on that was out many, many years ago that I. I that was absolutely horrible to watch, but I just couldn't stop. You just couldn't stop watching it. But so, so we got something similar today because it's getting some good reviews. This one, it's called Crimes of the Future. One hundred and seven minutes, an eighteen certificate, science fiction, drama, horror, and here we go. Film written and directed, of course, by David Cronenberg. This stars Viggo Mortensen, Leah Sedu, and Kristen Stewart, and many others as well. They do an okay job. I've nothing against the actors in this, although I do have my criticisms of the film and the story. Nothing, nothing wrong with the acting in this. Some good acting put together. All these scores and comments are as at the 28th of June 2022 as I'm doing this. And Joe Public, yeah, Joe Public are okay on it, generally. Um, 8,640 scores and reviews left as at this date, I've just told you there. 6.1 out of 10, that's, that's fine, that's fine. I was optimistic when I saw that. Uh, 5,219 scored it between 6 and 9, that's 70% of the people who scored it, because 2,305, so a big chunk scored it between 2 and 5. Ignore the 10s and the 1s, there's not many of those anyway. So 70% positivity, so that's good, that's good. Rotten Tomatoes audience, not overly infused, 2.9 out of 5, so that's just, what, 5.8 out of 10? So a little bit below that watchable 6 out of 10. And although this shares the title of Cronenberg's 1970 film with the same name, yeah, I was looking at some graphics and I was obviously getting some of them. What's that got to do with it? Yeah, but then I realised it was from an older film. It's not a remake of that story at all, and the concepts are totally unrelated. And this this actually marks Cronenberg's return to the science fiction horror genre for the first time since 1999 when he did Existence. Yeah, that... Yeah, I think I thought that was all right. I can't remember now, guys. I forgot that was out when I had my own video shop. I think it was quirky, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, this film premiered at the 2022 Cannes Film Festival and received a six-minute standing ovation. There you go. They could have boiled a couple of eggs uh, one after another, couldn't they, in that side? But, uh, mm, yeah, interesting. What is it about? Well, it sounds just as ambitious, taking a deep dive into the not-so-distant future in which humankind is learning to adapt to its synthetic surroundings. Uh, thankfully, I don't think I'll be around. This evolution moves humans beyond their natural state and into a metamorphosis which alters their biological makeup. While some embrace the limitless potential of transhumanism, others attempt to police it. You're bound to. Either way, accelerated evolution syndrome is spreading fast. Saul Tenza is a beloved performance artist who has embraced this new state's Routing new and unexpected organs in his body. Along with his partner Caprice, Tenser has turned the removal of these organs into a spectacle for his loyal followers. God help us. To marvel at in real time theatre. Well, I can I can see it. I can foresee it. I can see where Cronenberg's going with this. But with both the government and the strange subculture taking note, Tenser is forced to consider what must be his most shocking performance of all. So the critics, yes, I watched this and uh, without saying too much, I thought the critics will like this. <laughs> That's what my decision and a lot of members of the public like it as well. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, 79% of the 197 critics reviews gave it a positive review. There you go. Average rating of 6.6 .6 out of 10. So not fantastic, but certainly okay. 156 fresh and 41 rotten. So a few rotten, but obviously the fresh went out on this one. Some of the, a couple the fresh uh, David Fear from Rolling Stone. This is what the work of a visionary filmmaker looks like, he says. Forget the new flesh, long live the old Cronenberg. Okay, well, um, yeah, I do like some of the old shocking Cronenberg. This for me isn't, uh, it just isn't, <laughs> just isn't, it just isn't uh, anything to shout about. Uh, so I certainly won't be fresh on it. Jeffrey McNabb, he was fresh as well. Independent from the Independent UK he said, This is a film rich in ideas but with very little tension or passion. At times, it's more like a cerebral art gallery installation. Absolutely spot on. I agree with that. Uh, than a full bloody dramatic movie, so I'm not too sure why that rates as a fresh. He did give it; he got three out of five, so that's six out of ten. So it will will rate as a fresh, but that's a bit borderline for me. 
I mean, let's face it, some things that are called art are just garbage. Uh, and you can look at them for a, a few seconds, a minute, uh, something like that, try and understand them, and then move on and do something else. Unfortunately, you have to watch this for over 100 minutes. Um, if it was an art gallery, I could have just moved on by then and, and found a coffee bar or something like that. The rotten, there are rotten, as I said, a number of rotten. Rex Reed from The Observer, who, yeah, I think I, I sort of agree with what Rex is saying on this. He says, crimes of the future is a load of crap. So there, are no, no messing about there. I would like to find a more civil way to describe even a sick and depraved bath bag of a movie like this one. But it defeats every reasonable attempt to try. Yes, Rex, I, I, not far behind, mate. I think I think some of those critics are right, but in the wrong ways, if you know what I mean. I mean, the guy who gave it a fresh and compared to an art gallery installation was spot on. Uh, but if you're like me, some of the art gallery installations are ridiculous. The website's consensus, though, quintessential if not classic Rosenberg. Crimes of the Future finds the director revisiting familiar themes with typically unsettling fare. Yeah, he's advanced. He's gone. It's like the old things of ghosts, you know, what was it, where ghost hunters, where in the old days when it first started off, it was quite quirky. It was enough to do a, an odd bang, an odd jump, and get, you know, as it moved along and got, they had to throw different things. They had to get people being took over and voices, you know, where they started talking in a silly voice and things like this, and it, I think Cronenberg's sort of having to move on what he's doing. He's had to shock, you know, he's, you know, I can't go back to what I did that was quite, you know, what's the word, tested your mind. I have to be more shocking and try and test And it works, works, because a lot of people like it. But I, I just think, I just think it's wrong. I just don't think, there's nothing clever for me in this, nothing clever at all. Metacritic, the other critic site we'll look at, the film's got a weighted average of 65 out of 100, very good, based on 49 reviews. As I say, I am in a minority on this one. And it scores anywhere between the lowest is 60, 60, and the highest is 90. Hollywood reporter David Rooney give it 60. He said, the film offers up more mysteries than it solves, it does. Still riveting work from Viggo Mortensen and Leah Sedu. Absolutely, I don't disagree with the acting, the actors doing a good job as performance artists whose canvases internal organ mutations will draw the curious. Draw the curious? I'd I'd, 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 I'd have any of those drawn to watch this on on a watch list, in all fairness. Uh, No no offence, but I I, I don't know. We're going to talk about an old film in my critique that that was probably equally shocking, but I just found it. Perhaps I was younger, perhaps, perhaps I was a different person then, but... I found quite intriguing this. I don't. The Guardian's Peter Bradshaw, he gave it 80 out of 100. He said, it's an extraordinary planet that Krogan lands us, Cronenberg lands us down on. It certainly is. And insists we remove our helmets before we're quite sure we can't breathe the air. I think I'll keep my helmet on and uh, get back on the, the spaceship and zoom out of there in all fairness. Right, my thoughts, guys. As you can see, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with this. And I, I did sort of watch it and then went back and rewatched bits because I just trying to think I was missing something in this. But for me, no. I mean, I, I watch films to be entertained. I don't mind being shocked. I don't mind being, you know, uh, put in a corner and tested and this, you know, sort of my brain has to think things out. But, but for me, I just thought this was pretty awful. I, I do remember watching... For me, possibly one of his best films ever, Cronenberg, back in many, many years. It was when I had the video shop. I think I've still got a poster for it somewhere. Uh, Crash. I thought that was brilliant. Unsettling, horrible, but I just thought it was brilliant. And I just, um, and I say, it, it just is what it is, and it worked for me. But this this is just grotesque for grotesque's sake. And even if, they, they, really, this is the future. I mean, credit to the actors, as I've said before, they do a good job. They do a good job in this uh, great acting. And, of course, Cronenberg isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I quite like some of his stuff. And uh, I have got so, into some of his efforts. As I said, I would I would put Crash up there as one, of, if one, if not his best, that I've ever watched. And it's a film I would watch again. But uh, not this. Uh, no, I pretty much didn't like. Or I wasn't going to say hate, but I just, I just didn't get into this. And people did. So all all fairness, perhaps you perhaps you're seen as edgy and modern to like stuff like this. I'm not too sure. I'll stay as I am, guys, and that's a simple old me. If this is a future, uh, so glad I won't be around to witness it. And it probably, you know, looking at TV nowadays and what what gets attention and the shock factor, it doesn't surprise me. There's nothing wrong with Cronenberg in this film. Looking at that, I just I just thought it was a horrible watch. I just I just didn't enjoy it. So I'm not going to give it a mark, guys. I'm going to say. A lot of people liked it or, or scored it well anyway. I, I didn't like it, simple as 
So let me know what you think, guys. Be really interested to know your thoughts. As I say, I appreciate Cronenberg. I appreciate some people think he's a genius, uh, and this will make you think and test test you and stuff. I, I, sorry, I just I want to be entertained by a film. I say I don't mind being shocked and horrified, but uh, sometimes being shocked and horrified is entertaining for me as well. So this doesn't work for me. Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, please, everyone, stay safe and your families. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.